Everybody's talking. Nobody's fighting. I hear Pacquiao talking. Don't he supposed to be fighting Chris Algieri? But he want to talk Mayweather. Why come every time Pacquiao talks about Mayweather, he has a fight coming up? When he doesn't have a fight coming up, he doesn't mention Mayweather's name. Answer that, Pacquiao fans. This is the most you've heard him talk about Mayweather. Why didn't he talk like this before he signed the contract to fight Algeria? Hmm? But now he got a fight on the table and everybody, come on, man, man, he wants to fight. Man, he got a fight. <laughs> it's coming up in November against Chris Algeria, his nutritionist. <laughs> oh, man. People are so stupid. Floyd said what? Get past him and then we could talk. If Chris Algieri whip him, you know, which is possibility with Manny Pacquiao, anything could happen with him. You see, he looked like crap in the Bradley fight. Oh, y'all must have forgot. <laughs> Bradley was winning the fight until he got hurt. Bradley almost knocked him into the third row. And this is a dude who really can't box that well. And he knocked my man off the feet. Oh. Man, he was flying in there. Then, right after that, calf got hurt. He couldn't move. And then, man, he still looked like crap. I'm like, how you still look like crap in a man in front of you with one leg? He can't move. And you still can't get him out of there? I don't know, man. Of course, Algeria's going to have to knock Pacquiao out to win. Which ain't going to happen. But, hey, it is what it is. But you hear Keith Thurman talking. Who's you fighting? I hope you fighting Devin. I keep hearing you was going to fight Devin. Devin said you turned the fight down twice already. They said, oh, you needed more time. You want to fight in November, not October. He said, okay. And you were still kind of dragging your feet. So, all this talking. Who's fighting? Amir Khan trying to talk his way right into a Mayweather fight. Who you fighting? That's what you bombs out there need to understand. You talking about Floyd. Floyd fighting. These dudes ain't fighting. The ghost, you fought Kamaga. Sounds like a Japanese video game. But he was whooping on you. You know, you need to get in there with Khan. Mix it up. Get in there with Thurman. Mix it up. Y'all need to start fighting. Y'all all thinking y'all privileged and y'all ain't did nothing. Thurman ain't even fought for a world title yet. I'm talking Mayweather. <laughs> Slap yourself. All y'all. Y'all talking and ain't doing nothing. Then, you got... What else is going on in here? That was ridiculous. All this talking going on. These people think they privileged to something. And y'all giving allowances to these bums. Who ain't done nothing. That's another problem. Y'all, somebody knocked two bums out. And y'all, hey, they hot. Jump right on their coattail. And then if Floyd beat the same two bums. Then it's... Then it's, they were bums. <laughs> Y'all quick to jump on their coattail and make somebody heroes for doing nothing. Didn't know who Diego Chavez was, but as soon as Keith Thurman beat him, oh, he was great. He was good, yeah. Chavez is for real. <laughs> Tell y'all, man, y'all don't know the half. Keith Thurman is great, and y'all don't even know why he was great in that fight. Keith Thurman is improving, and he's learning, and he's getting better. He's young, but he's taking steps to get better. That's what's making him great and making him exciting to see. Not because he just knocked somebody out. Because, trust me, the DS fight shouldn't even be on his resume. Not at this point in level. 
So, yeah, and all you, I'm I'm done with y'all, y'all sideline people. All of a sudden, oh, uh, Mayweather don't fight black people. <laughs> See? See what happens? <laughs> Slapped you that hard. Almost broke my phone. But that's what you deserve. Sam Judah ain't black. Shane Mosley ain't black. And then y'all praising the guy who ain't fought a black guy in his whole career until two fights ago. Tim Bradley, the only black man he didn't fought. Oh, oh yeah, he fought Shane too. And Shane came off ACL. So he fought two black men in his entire boxing career. Which just happened just a few years ago. What happened in his whole career? Oh, with no black people there. Plenty of black people there. I'm not even going to go through the names. You already know. Then, the I'm a shut up fans. Where they at? You know the I'm a shut up fans? Where, where those guys at? If he beat him, I'm a shut up. If he beat Shane Mosley, Shane Mosley came in the ring with him. Why don't he fight back out Shane Mosley? You ain't going to fight Pacquiao. Fight Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley, real champion. Whoop Shane Mosley. If you whoop Shane Mosley, I'm going to shut up. I still hear you talking. Yeah, why don't he fight Miguel Cotto? Yeah, okay. He fighting a, he fighting a real fight now. He fighting Cotto at his real weight. At 154. If he beat Cotto, I'm going to shut up. Beat Cotto. You still talking. Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, now he fighting the real 154. He fighting Canelo. That boy young and he's strong. Now if he beat him, I'm going to give him credit. Guerrero ain't nothing. But if he beat, he beat Canelo, man. That's it. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> and you're still talking. <laughs> when are you going to shut up? 